Hi, I'm a scientist, and this is Steve. What do speedboats, police sirens, and earthquakes all have in common? They all have energy that's transferred in the form of waves. Well, yeah. Water is one example of the way that waves carry. What's the gag? He gets splashed every time I say waves? Waves. This time on Spaced Out. In the sports world, the wave is an audience participation activity. Sections of people briefly rise to their feet one after another, creating the visual effect of a wave. In the science world, a wave isn't that much different. Hey, are you going to finish that? Yeah. In the simplest terms, a wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium. Now that may sound like a mouthful, but let's break it down. A medium. That's a material, so liquid, gas, or solid, water, air, or a rock. And a disturbance is any kind of molecular movement. Now that we've got the basics down, let's put this theory into action with a few simple experiments. We've all heard the saying, too many cooks in the kitchen. Well, we've packed this kitchen with an abundance of French chefs. Steve is all the way at the other end of the room. Say I wanted to knock Steve over. I can't reach him from here, but there is a way for me to transfer the energy to knock Steve over without moving from this spot. Observe. See what happened? The energy from my push carried all the way through the French chefs and eventually reached Steve. I never touched Steve directly, but the wave of energy going from chef to chef was enough to knock him over. But energy waves don't move in just one direction. Ever drop a stone into a pool? The stone creates a disturbance. The transfer of energy causes water molecules to bump into one another, causing waves that move outward from the source. Your raft in the pool does the same thing. The energy from paddling is transferred to the raft and the water. And if you want a larger wave, well, you find a way to transfer more energy. So we know that energy waves move outward, but where do they go? As waves spread out, the energy spreads out over a larger area. This experiment uses sound energy to show how waves lose intensity as they move away from the source. Here we have a series of acoustic percussive instruments, or a drum set. Steve? But 50 feet away, the drums aren't as intense. Why is that? As waves move through a medium, the energy spreads out over a larger space. As the energy spreads out, the waves become less intense. For sound waves, this means the volume decreases the farther away you are from the source. Waves come in all different shapes and sizes. They can be as small as the waves from a drop of rain falling into a puddle or a buzz from a mosquito on a summer's day. Or they can be as big and as powerful as an earthquake caused by a meteorite smashing into the earth. Now, don't try our next experiment at home. Say you put a giant gorilla on the tallest building in the city and you gave him a 16 ton weight. What would happen if he dropped it to the solid ground below? 
Look out below. Whoa! Even though the ground is solid, the 16-ton weight and the height of the drop combine to create an incredible wave that can be felt across the city. The energy was so intense at the source, it actually broke the ground apart. We could still feel the energy even though we were farther away, but it was less intense. Scientists use this basic concept on an even larger scale to find the epicenter of an earthquake. But waves aren't just made by falling objects and loud noises. It turns out light can be treated as a wave as well, but it works a little bit differently. Light can travel through empty space. It doesn't need a medium like a sound wave, but it's still a wave that carries energy. So check this out. We're shining the light from this overhead projector onto Steve. We're about 10 feet away and the light is pretty intense. Now I'm going to draw an outline around Steve onto the overhead. Now watch what happens when we increase the distance between the overhead and Steve. See what happened? The outline is now far larger and the light less intense, but we're still using the same amount of light. That's because as we increase the distance, the light had to spread out over a larger area. The further the light waves travel, the larger the area they cover, the less intense they become. So now, let's put it all together. Waves are created when energy causes disturbances in some kind of a medium. In every experiment, we've seen that energy waves spread outward from the source. The further the waves travel from the source, the less intense they become. When you break it down, it may seem simple, but this is a fundamental concept. Many complex scientific theories and experiments are based upon this idea. It just goes to show you, it's all about waves.